Former Unified World Heavyweight Champion, the Gypsy King, aka Tyson Fury, released a video on social media earlier on today, or it may have been yesterday, in which he reiterated his desire to face current Unified IBF and WBA World Heavyweight Champion, Anthony Joshua, in a professional boxing ring, if and when Mr. Fury can actually get his license back and get in shape and get back to business, so on and so forth. Now, in this video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, so make sure you click on the link in the description below and go watch the video. In this video, he also claims that racial discrimination is the reason why he was stripped of his IBF heavyweight title for failing to face his mandatory. But Anthony Joshua was not stripped. He was allowed to keep his IBF heavyweight title in a similar situation and given an exemption so he could fight Vladimir Klitschko. Racial discrimination. Now, I have personally seen a lot of discrimination and prejudice against gypsies in the United Kingdom over the years. I've personally seen it with my own eyes and heard it with my own ears. So nobody is going to come and try and tell me that there isn't a lot of discrimination against gypsies in the United Kingdom because I tell you to your face, you're a liar because I've seen it with my own eyes. I've heard it with my own ears. People are, there are many people who are quite open about their prejudice towards gypsies in the United Kingdom. However, with that being said, well, first and foremost, I don't think Tyson Fury is accurate when he says racial discrimination because gypsies aren't actually a race. Could you term them an ethnicity? I'm not sure. You know, we're, we're dealing with va the vagaries of uh, certain terms here, but a race is like Caucasian is a race. Negro, I mean, if you want to use these terms, these are the terms that are often used to describe particular racial groups, Caucasian, Negro, etc. Gypsies are not a race. Tyson Fury is a Caucasian. So not to be technical about it, but discrimination, maybe ethnic discrimination or cultural discrimination might have been a better way for Tyson Fury to describe it. But regardless of the terminology used, we understand the point he was making in the video. Again, click the link in the description, go watch the video for yourselves. Now, while, as I say, I've seen a lot of discrimination against gypsies in the UK, I don't think the IBF stripping Fury was anything to do with racial, you know, any kind of discrimination against gypsies. The IBF is an organization based in the United States. I don't think they know too much about gypsies from an Irish background like Tyson Fury. I don't really think they know too much about them to feel any prejudice against them. If the IBF do have some type of agenda against Tyson Fury, or maybe have some type of favoritism towards Anthony Joshua. I think it's more likely that it's to do with perhaps money. Anthony Joshua has a lot more money behind him. He's a much bigger cash cow than Tyson Fury was. So that could be a possibility if there is a double standard going on. Also, it could be down to some of the politically incorrect things that Mr. Fury has said publicly. Perhaps the IBF weren't too happy about those and decided to not give him the benefit of the doubt. Whereas somebody like Joshua, who was very PC, they gave him the benefit of the doubt instead. Or lastly, it could be to do with what Eddie Hearn said. Perhaps there isn't any type of double standard with the IBF. Maybe it's a situation where Team Joshua Eddie Hearn, etc., knew the IBF rules better than Team Fury did. That's also a possibility. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just laying out all the feasible possibilities in my eyes. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about what Mr. Fury has said in this video. Again, link is in the description. Go watch the video. See what you think of it for yourselves. And yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. It's happening. I'm out.